Hello again everyone, it's me, Madame Macabre, and I'm about to throw hands with the friggin' video. Welcome back everybody, and hello to any newcomers. I'm Madame Macabre, and I do lots of spooky stuff on this channel, so if that's your jam, you'll probably like it here. Anyway, today's video is going to be another one of these new reaction type videos since you guys really seem to enjoy it. The last one where I reviewed Local 58's You Are On The Fastest Available Route. I'm actually going to be looking at another one of Local 58's videos today called Contingency. Twitter user Rob Dead Smile Black actually recommended this for me and he said if I liked the last one I would really like this one. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a little watch. Now, for those of you who didn't know, I recently made a tweet over on my Twitter asking for you guys to send me the names of your favorite scary videos, ARGs, all that good stuff, Twitter threads, whatever really spooks you and you would like to see me react to, and I would try and get to some of it. So I'm gonna sort of start doing this if you guys keep liking it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out Contingency. <sighs> All right, you guys, you ready for this? I ain't. Okay, once again with this old VHS aesthetic. 3 a.m. end of broadcast day. This has like a, a really old school vibe. That don't look good. US Department. Contingency message reel. This is giving me like old, almost like Cold War era vibes. Contingency message begin. Please comply with the following. The worst has come to pass. Despite sacrifices of our citizens and the might of our armed forces, the United States has been forced to surrender to her enemy. Oh, so this is like an alternate history, maybe? Though they may occupy our borders, our streets, and our homes, the enemy will never occupy our spirit. That is why all Americans are now called upon to act. Um, this is... This is semen dystopian. Even in defeat we claim victory. Okay, this sounds Soviet. immediately. It is a privilege to be called to action. What? We will each be remembered. There's nothing. Okay, now you're starting to sound culty. Time has come. Join your neighbors, your family, and your god. What? 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 Front lawn face up for your pets and your baby. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. I've got some thoughts, but let's finish this up. We apologize for the interruption. Uh, a hoax. Oof. Big oof. Oh, I got some thoughts. Oh, I really got some thoughts. Okay, um... I think that wraps this up. Holy God! Okay, um... I have a lot of thoughts on whatever it is that I just watched. So my first impression was it felt like a really old school, almost like Cold War era type video broadcast announcement thing. And it, 
it, it kind of held that vibe through the whole thing. So right off the bat, talking about our enemies and all that, I'm thinking, okay, interesting. This is, you know, a little alternate history, alternate timeline thing where we lost the whatever war. It doesn't mention what enemy we're facing, but given that it gives the vibes of the Cold War, I'm guessing maybe like we lost to Russia. And the government is now asking asking its citizens to basically kill themselves. And what I mean asking is, uh, if you saw, I'll go ahead and freeze frame it, uh, getting the police involved. So you're, you're not allowed to say no. So if you won't, if you won't hurt yourself, apparently the police are going to do it for you. Whew. Okay. Um, wow. There's a lot of thoughts floating around on that. Don't like it. I, I, I like the spooky project. I like local 58, but don't like it. Uh, it seems very dystopian, alternate history type of vibe, but also at the same time, it's like plausible enough to be something that could maybe happen. And I think that's what makes it really eerie. So from the overall vibe of what I'm getting from this thing is it seems like it's this message on an emergency broadcast that's essentially telling everybody that whatever war we're in, we just lost it, and apparently the government is saying it's better to be dead than to be occupied by whatever country defeated you, and that's pretty messed up. I'd like to think that the, uh, the American government wouldn't go that route, but I honestly can't say that would never happen, so don't like it. It seems like hyper manipulative saying that it's your greatest honor to be able to serve your country this way. And then it's like telling you to use the nearest means available to you that a gun is preferable. Like that's hella creepy. Hell don't like that. Okay. Like I was getting some major cult vibes when it starts talking about the victory position. It's absurd and you kind of want to like laugh, but at the same time, it's like, that's creepy and morbid and very culty. Like, yeah, go lay out on your front lawn and like display your dead body for whatever like country won. That, don't like that. There was like another slide that talked about tending to your children before yourself. And that, mm, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say don't like that in a video, but tending it to your, ch that's really, mm. So not only they, do they want you to like off yourself, they want you to kill your own children for the country and your patriotism. Nah, <laughs> no, okay. And then the next slide was like incredibly, incredibly messed up. It was only on like a flash for a second, but it was something about like infants and pets being the smallest patriots. Like, okay, not only children, but you're talking about like straight up, like killing babies and your pets um so you're telling me it is better for me to kill my pets who love and trust me unconditionally and then myself just because i'm such a sore loser i would rather have me my family and everyone i know dead than be russian you know what i gotta say to that u.s government Brosoy, baby. Me and my cats will be learning Russian 101, okay, honey? Oof, that in itself as an alternate history thing is messed up enough, but the ending, like... <laughs> okay, the ending just takes it to the next level because... So it's not alternate reality. It's not an alternate timeline. This is straight up a hoax. So it's, it's not that the Russians won the Cold War. It's not that we were defeated. It's not that the government wants us all to die. Someone like hacked a local broadcast system and played this message to try and get people to kill themselves and their families. Like, mm. that's a disturbing thought, especially like in this age of technology, like 
maybe people wouldn't necessarily listen to like something as extreme as hurting themselves but like what if someone were able to hack actual like u.s military broadcast things and make people think about doing less extreme things like tell having them do stuff break chaos out i think there was already an incident where there was like in hawaii where there there was like a missile system had given a false warning and people went bananas in this age of technology and stuff could something similar obviously not as extreme because let's be honest not many people are actually going to follow through and like actually kill themselves there'd be the the reality is if that kind of broadcast went out First of all, people would Google it, but I guess they didn't have that back in the day. But if they tried it now, people would Google it. And if it was real, people wouldn't hurt themselves. They would frickin' riot. That Even the military wouldn't, like, kill civilians. Everybody would riot. It'd be chaos. And... I don't know. Not a fun alternate timeline. That's the dark timeline. All in all, once again, I gotta say, props to you, Local58, for making something else incredibly dark and disturbing. You're really good at coming up with these interesting, just yucky premises to work with. So, good job. Didn't like it. Left me feeling yucky. But that's what it was supposed to do, so. Oof. Oof. Okay, well, I don't know what you guys thought about that. I hope you enjoyed this little reaction video. If you would like to see me react to any other things, please feel free to let me know in the comments below and feel free to share your thoughts with the class if you got a different interpretation of this video than I did, because I could be totally off base, I got no idea. That's just what I sort of got the feeling, the vibe from all all the stuff before my eyes. But if you got something different, please feel free to share below. Anyway, uh, that's all I have time for today. All I can really kind of stomach right now. So uh, we will do another video another day. That's all we got for today. But until next time, remember, stay creepy.